It's amazing how many questions there are in the Bible. And we're going to look at another one today, again in the Minor Prophets, a man by the name of Micah, chapter 6, verse 3. My people, what have I done to you? How have I burdened you? I guess that's really two questions, but we'll count it as one. It's not a burden to serve the Lord. In fact, it's more of a burden not to serve him. You don't have to do what the commands say. You get to obey, and that has great benefits. Therefore, you must never act like you're doing God a favor when you follow him and obey his commands. It's always in your best interest. Now, is serving the Lord a burden for you in any area? Do you rejoice in your chances to follow and obey, even if you have to pay a price? Are there any hard areas that aren't rejoicing that you need to confront and ask God's help to change? Now, let's go to another one of the prophets, one of the major prophets, Jeremiah chapter 15, verses 15 through 21. Lord, you understand, remember me and care for me, avenge me on my persecutors. You are long suffering, do not take me away. Think of how I suffer reproach for your sake. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight for I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. There's no have to here for Jeremiah. He got to serve the Lord. I never sat in the company of revelers, never made merry with them. I sat alone because your hand was on me and you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unending and my wound grievous and incurable? You are to me like a deceptive brook, like a spring that falls. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. And you see what happened there? Jeremiah started to complain. First, he was saying, it's a joy to serve you. Then it wasn't so much a joy, and the Lord confronted him and said, you need to repent. Now, in these verses, we see that the Lord said to someone who was acting like it was a burden to follow him to get his act together. You don't want to be like that person. You don't have to obey the Lord. You get to. That's it for today. Come on back tomorrow, and we'll do it all over again, but with a new question.